hello friends welcome uh, from this lecture we are going to solve the methods related to polyalphabetic substitution method all of the previous lectures we solved the cipher attacks related to monoalphabetic now from this onwards we are going to start polyalphabetic so auto key cipher is the first cipher in polyalphabetic right so uh, in auto key for cipher text the rule we have is ki plus pi mod 26 and for plain text we have cipher text that is ci minus ki mod 26 so in this auto key cipher we are going to use a key stream instead of using a single key that's why we have right over here ki right so suppose we have a plain text that is hello and its corresponding digits are 7, 4, 11, 11 and 14 alright so uh, let us start and let us create our key stream first because to convert the plain text into cipher text in auto key cipher we would be needing key stream so how to get a key stream let us know that key stream that would be equal to whatever key is given to you first of all place it over here right now what you have to do is just keep on placing this digit values of the given plain text till the size of the plain text so here size of the plain text is one two three four five all right so one we have already placed we have to put four other values so starting from seven four eleven and 11 though 14 is remaining just forget about it we won't be using it all right so our key stream is 13 7 4 11 and 11 so basically what we did here is we place the 13 as it is and we just shifted all these values and made our key stream so as I told you to gain our cipher text we would be using our key stream so let us create our cipher text so formula for cipher text is ki plus pi mod 26 so we would be using ki plus pi mod 26 so we would be adding all of these terms 7 plus 13 20 20 mod 26 will give us 20 only 7 plus 4 11 11 mod 26 will be equal to 11 11 plus 4 15 15 mod 26 is 15 11 plus 11 22 mod 26 is 22 11 plus 14 25 25 mod 26 is again 25 so all these five values are the digited value and we would have to write the corresponding alphabets to it so uh, the cipher text would be equal to 20 is for u 11 is for l 15 is for p 22 is for w and 25 is for Z. So this is our cipher text for hello using auto key. Right? Now, if you want to again gain the plain text, you just simply have to subtract the key stream from the cipher text. So for plain text, just, sub just subtract 20 minus 13, which would be equal to 7, 7 mod 26, 7. Again, 11 minus 7, 4, 4 more 26, 4. Similarly, you would get in, uh, 11, 11 and 14, which you can relate it over here. So again, our plain text is hello. And uh, I would like you to remember that key domain for auto key cipher here is 26. All right. Uh, one more point I would like to add over here is that as we talked in our lecture named cryptography and its components, we talked about the difference between monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic. So in monoalphabetic, for L, we we generated O O as cipher text for L. So as we told you that in uh, polyalphabetic, for same letters you would be generating different. 
uh, ciphertext. So let us check over here for this both L, you got the ciphertext as for this L it is P and for this L it is W. So this is the importance about polyalphabetic. Okay. So this was all about auto key cipher, how to encrypt and decrypt using auto key methods. Thank you.